football this week. This week, we start with a great NFL primetime game, and then we end with a great NFL primetime game, at least on paper. And I don't think they're going to disappoint. So we start off. we got the Bengals and the Ravens. Ravens, three and a half point favorites with sharp money and big money back in the Ravens here. 25% of the bets, 55% of the money on the Ravens. Bengals need a win here, not only just to keep the season going and, and, and avoiding losing two in a row. Same with the Ravens. But uh, this will reel in the Ravens back into the bunch of that division. Uh, if the Ravens win this one, I think they pretty much have locked up the division. Like, I mean, the only thing that could happen is if they lost to Pittsburgh twice, which isn't going to happen. So uh, what do you guys think about that game? Hmm? Line feel right? Hmm? Hmm? We're going to take the three and a half of the Bengals? Yeah, I think I would, I would probably lean, on the, uh, lean to the Bengals. I haven't really looked into it. I don't like where the money's at it's early i guess you'd say that the sharp side big money coming in on the ravens uh both coming off losses who who what loss do you think i think bengal's loss was worse last week right what well, because that was a big number on that spread was the texans plus seven or plus six and a half wound up being five and a half five and a half um, yeah it crept down yeah but ravens talk of the town last week then then you know get beat by the browns so i don't know yeah division rival you get the hook so you get a field goal. I'd probably side with the Bengals. But at least we yeah, like you said, we get good football on Thursday night. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be good. Patriot, uh Patriot four six five says, I would have to take a flight to go to Applebee's. It'd be well worth it, man. It'd be well worth it. Half off apps, good Half beer. Piss says I only gotta drive. I, I only go there and get appetizers because I love ordering every single appetizer on the menu when it's half off apps and just them bringing a ton of different food. And then feeling like shit later because I ate Applebee's appetizers. It's great. <laughs> Look at all. Buku people. says Bo Nix's age should disqualify him. If you're over 30, you shouldn't be able to win. The- hey, 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 now. I agree. Not when we got money on him. Not when we got money on him. Please. Also, I agree with Buku. Uh, no such thing as boneless. It's, uh, boneless wings are chicken nuggets. That is true. <laughs> that is true. It's facts. Titan Jaguars, Jaguars laying six and a half. This kind of feels like a trap game. Kind of feels yeah. like the Houston game this week, you know, where they're like, oh, yeah, don't you want to just take the six and a half here with the Jags? It looks like it's too easy, but when the books put that thing under seven, they do it for a reason. You got sharp money laying it with the Jaguars, though. Big money on the Titans taking the six and a half, 17% of the bets, 25% of the money on the Titans so far catching the six and a half. What would you guys think? Feel a little trappy? Feel a little trappy? Trappy here? Huh? Huh? Line's probably too big. You got to figure the Jaguars are going to be in a bounce back spot, though, man. They looked pretty bad out there last week against against those 49ers. Now you got Will Levis, who didn't play great. We said yesterday we might have to pump the brakes on Will Levis a little bit because maybe the Falcons are just garbage on defense. And he hadn't looked really great since in either one of those games. So Jaguars got a pretty solid defense. Now you got the other Josh Allen, the real Josh Allen, down there going to be chasing that man down all week long or all weekend long. I just don't know that the Jaguars could play that bad two weeks in a row. And the Titans haven't looked like since that Falcons game, man, it has not looked, uh, that didn't look very good. Just ain't look the tape. They got tape on them now. You know, I just was thinking about that while you're talking, you know, it's more games or he's just bad or he's not good. Well, yeah, Falcons are bad. (laughs) They are bad. You know, it's kind of hard to expect. Not everybody's going to see Jay Stroud it though. You know, he, he kind of that's that might be where he screwed up coming out and having such a good game in his first game because now it's like the leash may be shorter just because he played yeah. so well right there. But I mean, this guy still was going to be his fourth career game. Let's let's. I mean, we can pump the brakes on him being a Hall of Famer, but we should also probably pump the brakes on him being a bust too. No, nope, Jack's um, pretty do good something. at home too, aren't they? You have an opportunity to do something with it. Come on now, just What'd like us here, we have an opportunity and we're killing it. I'm gonna go get. I, I just I didn't know how the Jags were at home. I think that they play well at home, right? Uh, um, well, so I don't honestly, know. They didn't man, play well last week. I, I start to say three of their losses have come from, they lost to the chiefs at home. They lost to the Texans at home. And now they lost to the 49ers at home. So three of their losses right there coming down in Jacksonville. So I don't know that we can say they, they haven't played great offensively at home. They should go I mean, to London. Yeah. Just move to London. That's what I'm saying, man. All, in, in, in London, I've been saying that forever. I totally think they should be over there. They'd win the Super Bowl the first year they moved there. If they yeah. did. But yeah, they just haven't looked great offensively at home. I mean, you got a three point. They scored three points last week against the 49ers. They scored nine, I think, against the Chiefs. And then I, the you know Texans beat them thirty seven to twenty. But that twenty was kind of that didn't even wasn't even really good. They got the trash touchdown late and stuff. You know, it just the game was out of hand when they scored those points. Yeah. 
they haven't looked great offensively at home, and I don't get it. I don't I don't get it why. I mean, granted, you know, you look at the Chiefs defense pretty solid. The 49ers are obviously one of the best in the league, but the Texans just really blowing the doors. I mean, the other oh, Texans are good in winning football games, but they're not really blowing people out. Yeah. Hey, I just thought of something. How pissed I I, I would be pissed at this if they did ha- you know end up making a team over in london if they hosted a super bowl over in london i'd be pissed there's no way they can do that right you can't a super bowl out of america you take it out of america oh my god that'd be it that'd be it's it you'd happening. lose the rest of the fans you got you it, they would lose so much money doing that yeah so much that ain't money. happening you'd have people pissed off like you that wouldn't even watch the shit now you would get a playoff games you know, you could get an A or a, you know, a I'm, fine I'm fine with a playoff game. Yeah, That's I'm right. fine with that. Just not the big game. I don't know about the AFC Championship game or NFC. Yeah, it would be AFC Championship game. I don't know about that, but I don't know. If you, if you, you, mean, you don't really have a choice there. If you win it, if you win the opportunity and it's at your, that's where you're playing at and you win the opportunity, yeah, you play it at your home field. So if you do Talk that, about, would there be a bigger home field advantage? <laughs> no, that'd be wild. That's why I don't be know over why they have the last yet. few weeks. <laughs> I can't figure out for the life of me why they're not there already. <laughs> that should be a trivia question. Who's the only team in the NFL that doesn't have a home game? The Jags, because their home is in London. <laughs> How do you think they'd do in free agency being, you know, across the pond there? They'd have to convince people to move to a different country to play. The for contracts them. are so damn big now, Steps. If you were paying me matter. millions of dollars, I would go live over there for six months of the year. And a chance to win a ring? What if it was Germany? I mean, yeah. I don't know. Everybody's money's green. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. So, they yeah. got some cool beers. That'd be great. Money, money, money talks, man. Money talks. I mean, I'm not saying, I, guess, I don't know. I think it'd be harder for a team. There's not really, you know, the Jaguars have been London's team for pretty much as long as we've been doing this. It's not really anybody that's Germany's team yet. We've only played, what, four games over there in the history of the NFL. But the London thing, that seems maybe way more feasible to me. <laughs> MSCP says, nah, Florida needed two more football teams. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't have enough going on down there. Florida didn't have enough. <laughs> uh Chargers, Packers. Feels like the Packers are finally getting priced right here. You got sharp money and big money on the Packers, catching three and a half at home against the Chargers. 14% of the bets, 25% of the money on those Packers catching three and a half. Can you trust the Chargers? No. Can you trust the Chargers on the road? No. Can you trust the Chargers on the road as three as favorites? No. <laughs> This is all weird. It's, I'm, I'm looking at these lines, and I'm kind of like, man, this might be a tough week here. There's a lot of this lines. This one's weird for me. Dude, I told you there's five double-digit lines. It's, I, this this week feels like everything's kind of priced right, and you've got to be sharp. I've seen, like, you... I've seen four games already where I'm just like, oh, I love that. And then all of a sudden, I look at the other side, I'm like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me just pump the brakes for a second. That's If it's that easy, I probably need to go the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Giants commandos command dude. The commanders lay in ten. The commanders shouldn't be laying ten to anyone, but I get it. I guess it makes sense. Uh, I, I don't feel good taking God, I don't feel good <laughs> taking ten with the Giants. Listen, Sharp money on the commandos, big money on the Giants here with ninety three percent of the money on the Giants catching the ten. Yeah. I'm taking Giants ten. I as ugly as it is. I uh, think I, I am too, man. I was about to say that, too many points. That, this Washington. team just played two weeks ago in a three point game. Exactly. You know, Dan- Danny Dimes didn't 10? play in that game either, right? Yeah. That's you know, crazy. I know that they've got injury and all that stuff, but they still got Saquon out there. I think ten in this division. You don't see this division just unless the Giants. Yeah, but the Giants, the, the, the Giants uh, didn't have the number two overall pick at that point. Yeah, but the com- I mean, I don't know. The cam- Commanders are playing much better too. Just take the under. Just take the under. And be done with it. Take the Giants. Taking first half taking. under. That's for sure. Commanders coming back from the the West Coast. Hmm. Hmm. See, so, yeah. another double digit game. Dolphins laying 11 and a half to 12 and a half, depending on what it is against the Raiders, the red hot Raiders. Oh, man. What are we thinking, boys? Two, two a time, two coming off a bye. Want to put up some points, get in the MVP race? Huh? Huh? Tyreek trying to break 2,000 yards. What do we think? I don't know, man. This is a <laughs> weird one, too. They've won two in a row now. They're kind of rejuvenated. Got the new head coach out there. I don't see anything that tells me the Raiders should be able to play in this with the Dolphins, but they just look like a motivated squad right now. They're playing a little bit better football. The Dolphins coming off the bye. Maybe they start a little slow. I don't know. It's weird to say, but I might look at the under in this Dolphins thing. It's sitting on 48. Slow, please. Come on now. Dolphins. Huh? Starting to slow. They've done it before, man. They've done it before. 
And the Raiders got a decent defense. Max Crosby going to be – what if Max Crosby rips to his head off the first series? You, you, you know Mike what? Out concussion, there, you know. concussion. Max Crosby, is, is that his name? What's the yeah. mm-hmm. name? What, yeah. what do you think about him smoking that blunt during that interview? I think he's fucking awesome. <laughs> that guy's great. I need, I need, a, I need a jersey. I love that guy. He's got that a motor like no other. And yeah. that guy, I mean, he's one of those guys that's had a chip on his shoulder his whole career. He said he keeps a list of every single like defense pass rusher that was drafted ahead of him. He, like looks at him before every game and stuff. He's probably like the water boy. He's like imagine all those GMs <laughs> on the quarterback's head and he's just ripping people's souls out. Yeah, I love that there guy, was somebody man. in the, and then NBA he ended up that, on the Raiders. <laughs> it's like yeah. shit. <laughs> There's a guy in the NBA that he could name. He could name like every draft pick before him i don't remember Mostert. who that was i think it's i think it's moster moster or deandre swift it's well, i think it's moster oh oh it was because NFL. i, I, yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. that it was like uh yeah he had like he's like six running backs or something that were drafted ahead of him or something like that and he has that list oh, saved in the notes in it his was phone. uh saint brown saint oh i'm on raw yeah yes. okay I, I know i heard that too man the, 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 like the, every like for every game they read their notes in their phone it's like okay Ooh, yeah well, Whatever you got to do to motivate yourself, bro. <laughs> That's right. You know what? I never thought I'd catch myself saying in my lifetime, but uh, here here we are. I'm excited to watch a Cardinals and a Texas game. I think this is probably one of the most interesting games of the week. You got the Texans, who it feels weird to see them as favorites, but they're they're just lighting things up, man. This is a fun squad to watch. <laughs> Can CJ Stroud keep it up? I'm going to probably have to get a Stroud jersey when he catches his rookie of the year pick and my MVP ticket that I got on him now you at 33-1. Sharp money and big money on. I did. I bet him the other day after we no, talked saying, about it. You, I better, bet. you better get a, a jersey. You better buy two. You better have one in every color, man. I probably will. All right. And one that has <laughs> MVP money. on it, too. Right? That's right. But then you got Kyler Murray and the Cardinals back. That They look like an exciting bunch. They're playing tough. I mean, I don't think this line is wrong. I think it's where it should be. But uh, it uh, it's it's just it. I think it's going to be actually interesting, fun game. I don't know. It, what do you guys think? Isn't it funny? It was as much shit as we talk about Kyler Murray, how he instantly makes the Cardinals so much better to watch. I have never said a damn thing bad about him. Mm-mm, not when he's Whatever. winning. He, okay, well then he's fine. undefeated this here season. Talking all this shit. He's he the only quarterback that hasn't though. lost this season. I'll sit here and talk all that shit. Get your sports bra off, man. But I can't help it. When that man's on the field, he instantly <laughs> becomes makes the Cardinals kind of must-see TV right there because I don't know what the guy's going to do. He's liable to backyard oh. football. He'll run 86 yards to get 10. By the way, let's pause this for a second. 